Uber driver. Get it. All right, guys, about that time. We're loading up, about to head over to Logan's mom's house, pick up the Blackstone, and we're gonna be getting up out of here, heading through Shreveport, stop to get plasma, uh, Boudin, uh, and then head down to Houston. And then, like I said, from there on, it's Donkey Kong. <laughs> Take a lap around over here real quick, and then it'll bring us back out over there on the other side of the house. And we're gonna ease up on out of here. All right, y'all, just gassed up at this gas station. Got me a little Arizona tea because I was craving one yesterday and I feel like it matches the vibe. So let me throw this bad boy and drive and let's go. Yeet, yeet. Out here in Arkansas, son. Let me crack open that 99 center. I haven't mastered getting out all the way yet. I almost fall every time. Dang, bro, you got cows? Them, them beef brahmin' to come on. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I'm good. Oh, you had to get it out? Dang. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna show you some. What is that? Oh, little camera. You wanna play with it? A what? The GoPro. <laughs> you say whatever you want to it. Dang. Yeah, let okay, it. Okay, look at here. All right. Make sure all your fittings are tight. Okay. And you get you one of those propane bottles right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Thank you so much. Well, you're welcome so much. Racist. Well, all right, guys. Let me go ahead and do a little trick. Boom. Well, Blackstone secured, and now it's time to hit that road. I'm on the road. We're headed down to Houston. This is what it looks like where I'm at in Arkansas. And honestly, I don't. I couldn't even tell you where I'm at. It's so off, like off the grid, low key. Um, but either way, y'all, heading up out of here. Going to Shreveport, donating plasma, uh, getting some boudin, and then we head down to Houston. Blackstone in that window. Check this spot right here, dude. Need an L wallet. Let's go get us some grub. Oh, that smell good. I ain't lying. These are chicken bites. You gotta get the pepper jack boudin balls. <sighs> boudin wrap. My boy uh, Sebastian got the deer burrito. At the other one. Uh, can I get uh, two of the chicken bites, a thigh, and then two pepper jack boudin balls? Alright. Alright, I'm gonna let y'all in on my little plate. Check me out. Got the two pepper jack boudin balls. I didn't get the thigh last time, but man, what that thing look good, huh? Smoked chicken, can't beat it. So let's see. I do a little bite of the chicken, a little chicken bite. Y'all, no, I have mercy. Mm, mm, mm. This is a thigh with jalapeno wrapped in bacon and cream cheese. Mm. Lord have mercy. Worth every penny. I want to show y'all that little booty ball. Because these right here go so hard. Pepper Jack. Mmm. Look at that. I got that don't. 
Anyway, y'all, I fulfilled my craving with this little plate right here. I am gonna go ahead, wrap this up, and we're heading to Houston. So, I'm pretty much gonna see y'all there. I mean, look, and if anybody wanna see where I'm at, like I was saying, Bajeron, Boudin and Meat, you know, Boudin and Cajun Meats in Shreveport. I've been to both locations now, and they both just as equally good. Man, who? I'll get you some of that if you're ever coming through Shreveport. You would not be disappointed. This is my AC when it gets hot. Let's adjust it like this. It's full throttle. Full throttle, baby. And right now, right about now, it feels good because it's kind of, it's unnecessarily hot over here for some reason. But, uh, yeah, got that thing on open, wide open, sun to come on. I'm gonna cut it back a little bit, get a good breeze and a good circulation. But then I wanna just. Boom. Cruise control. Look at that, we going about 67 foot off the gas. I don't know if y'all can see that. This is my foot, way over here somewhere. Anyway, 1993, we got cruise control. I use that all the time. It helps keep me out of speeding tickets and just helps me, you know, be a better driver. And we got cruise control in here. We got the LTZ Chevy G20 package. What y'all know about that? The saying, hey, we kind of got a deal. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I took that air on full throttle. And sit back and kick my feet up and, you know, drive. All right, y'all, so I think uh, we just crossing through this little town right here. Here is one more little thing. I got a manually blinker, my right blinker, because when I cut it on, it just stays like it's steady. So in order for it to look like it's blinking, you know, I just gotta, you know. But anyway, I'm about to pull over right here while we're crossing through this city, and it's just kind of convenient. I'm gonna swap out my batteries for the headlights, cut it on, and then we'll hop back on the road. So I guess I'll show y'all. This is my first time having to swap the batteries. So, uh, Shout out to Energizer, not a sponsored video. <laughs> Look, WD 40. Just kidding, I don't think WD 40 would uh, help us out too much, honestly. Oh, come to daddy. Ta da! Perfect. Pop these jokers out. I uh, just broke this spring, but uh, honestly, I hope. Uh, See if we could just rig the spring back in there. Hopefully it doesn't affect it. Alrighty. Let's test it out. Pop these jokers back in there. Little missiles. Lights, camera action. We back on. Uh, I'm gonna cut it on medium. Now let's see here. Where we gotta tie back into? Oh, that was just that side. All right, cool. That makes it that much easier. She ain't going nowhere, son. Ah, nice and clean, clean thing. There's a heavyweight fly right here. Oh, jeez. Poor guy, man. He's not gonna make it. <sighs> but I'll give him a fighting chance. Here you go, buddy. Oh, come on, wait. Well, I wish you the best. Uh, for me to you. All right, y'all, so we are at Eli's, and we're officially about to get into this van and get everything out. I've already pulled some stuff out, but uh, I'm gonna get all this other stuff out, and I am going to kind of go from there. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do with the frame, with the carpet, but step one is just to get everything out of here and be able to kind of, you know, visually inspect it. We have a $500 budget for this build, so we're gonna make sure we can do everything as cost-efficiently as possible. I've even considered keeping this carpet because 
uh i can cover the side up it just depends we're gonna figure that out later but like i said we'll get everything out and then go from there Well guys, we see we uh everything's out of here now. This is I bought it. Everything was already like this. The frame built in, the insulated walls. Um this is everything how it is. So I'm gonna take this to the vacuum. I mean to the car wash. I'm gonna vacuum everything out because I honestly have been considering leaving this carpet in. This depends. Uh because it really helps save us some time and cost on this build. But I will be redoing some framework in here for sure. This is the domain emptied out. You see how much space we got? <sighs> Plenty. Look at that. Well, for the next van build after this one, because we're going to come out of this one one day, because I like to have a high roof. I would like to have the same G20 model, different color probably. Not that I mind this one, just saying. But high roof and all that cool stuff. And I'm going to do a really nice thorough build where I get to take plenty of time to design it. Um, and it's not a rush project and the budget isn't so tight on it. So we can pretty much do whatever. But yeah. Getting a lot of supplies in order been getting organized on how i want everything pretty much and the other day i was about to let my boy eli drive and as soon as he went to start it long story short something the ignition was going wrong but the steering column kind of had existing problems uh which is like the only issue this van had but i didn't think it was gonna break so anyway to fix that we're taking out the whole steering column and we're about to go pick up a new one from a scrap van about 45 minutes from here and we're gonna swap it out after that, like I said, I've been getting all my supplies in order. So we got some frame wood, some two by threes. I got some posters. I'm gonna put that all on the roof. The TV, that's a 40 incher. I got it for like 30 bucks on Marketplace. Um, I figured out my framework. I mean, I got all, I get everything in here. Let's see. So this is pretty much how the back's gonna look if you look at it from the. This doesn't really matter. I'm not even gonna go too deep into that actually. But basically. Um, I took this off. This is the engine cover. Swapped out the air filter. I changed the oil. Um, I did a I did motor flush before I changed the oil. I did a coolant flush with new coolant, and that's pretty much where we're at on the liquids. Got all the new liquids. Got got the the whole engine kind of running good off some good juice. Eli just got back with his little electric ratchet, and then uh, so yeah, now we just got to get this column off, and then swap it out. Oh, come on. Man, my boy Eli done got the whole steering column out, dude. How you feel about it? Let's go get the new one. We gotta stop and do a tow. You used to carrying around things like that, huh? <laughs> Alright, y'all. So we ran down about an hour away from here. Checked out this 91 GMC uh 2500 Vandura. And the um the columns weren't the same. So we're gonna kind of put that on pause and kind of deal with that simultaneously or i'm gonna let eli kind of figure that part out more and i'm gonna start working on uh getting some work done on the inside so that way we can kind of simultaneously progress y'all so this is the progress we made so far i kind of been getting the framework done it's been crazy doing it all in this tiny space i lost my hair ties so my hair has been annoying the crap out of me but anyway uh just got the tv model on i got it stuck to the roof so i'm gonna hook this thing up so
All right, y'all, new day, new climate. So it's a little hot today. And today I'm working on putting up these posters. And that's gonna be so I can stick the LED lights too and we could adhesive spray the polyfill too. And it's just all kind of on this fabricated roof. So that way we're not gluing it directly to all this stuff. In case for whatever reason we wanna get up there, all we gotta do is peel down all the poster boards. But I just started, I've got about 30 of these things and I probably won't need them all. But I just didn't want to have to go back to the store just for poster boards and they're like 40 cents a piece so if I had to get them all up here this is the TV I moved it back a little bit and now it's perfectly aligned with the door and it sits far enough from your face to where it's comfortable and I'm just about to get all these boards up here and put our lights on it so here y'all go Alright guys, so we just got all the posters up, the LED lights up. I just kind of ran them schematically. Just tested this out. I'll show y'all once it's all the way together. The lights do work. Now it's time to get this spray foam. I mean this uh, spray adhesive. This will work fine. And I got two boxes of polyfill for a total of 10 pounds. And basically, we're just going to spray the roof, spray the foam, stick it to the ceiling. It's kind of tedious, but I'll start up here. I was working my way back and it'll probably take an hour or two if I had to guess just because it takes a while. All right, y'all, I just ran out of the uh, adhesive, so I'm gonna go pick up another one. But this is our progress so far. We got about two thirds of it down. In the front, I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. I'm just, uh, I put posters up there and I'll figure that out later. But just got about a third left in this back section. So let's go pick up some more adhesive spray and get back to it. All right, y'all, we just finished it up. There's everything right here disregard that there's gonna be a tapestry right here splitting that so we're not even gonna be able to see the front yeah we got that cloud top baby what y'all know about that oh it looks good i'm gonna throw that tv back up there for looks maybe i don't know futon man it's clean all right y'all here's the concept reveal you ready Hey, it could do any color, almost any pattern. But yo, I might cut it right here, honestly, just because, so I can go ahead and put this out. And then what's left is just doing the walls, getting all the framework done, plywood and everything up, putting some drawers on the back. And Eli, say what's up. Here we go. <laughs> that's the man. Nice. Yeah, that's the man that's gonna help me out with all the steering column, because we're uh, working on the steering column, trying to get it fixed. So that's my boy, Eli. Big shout out to him, really. Yeah, White Buffalo. White Buffalo towing. If y'all in Houston, y'all need to get a tow. That's my boy. Just get at me. I'll give y'all his contact info. What we got? Just imagine that. Futon, TV. Phew! Just make sure y'all stay watching because we're going to be wrapping it up. So, if you made it to the end, thank you for watching. If you're new, welcome to the family. This Big Nugget, and I'm out. All right, I want to give y'all one last shot. We got the futon in here. Just chilling on it. I got spray glue all over me. We got the TV. And then we got her on the swivel. Yep. Yes, sir. Ski. All right, y'all. Now this big nugget. And I'm officially out. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Salt and pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, rapper pack Mr. Magic Money Mall.